Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Tiago De Jailo card to review. We're taking a look at a card who is six foot three, medium high work rates, right footed, two star skills with a three star weak foot. Uh, in-game player traits, he has nothing in-game attributes. Uh, we are going to be giving this card both the anchor chemistry style as well as a shadow chemistry style to test out a few things here and there. Now, as you guys know, when it comes to center backs, for me personally, um, I usually just like to go with the shadow chemistry style for the most part to boost the pace to be as high as possible while working with near enough perfect defense while also already having good physical capabilities. Now, the thing that's low on the card uh, when it comes to base card stats is obviously going to be in the jumping department. If you're coming up against those guys like Cristiano Ronaldo and stuff, maybe that could pre present to be a problem. But we're going to see, right? Uh, this card... We're going to be initially using on the anchor chemistry style to see what he's like. And if we need to switch, then we'll switch, right? Uh, he's going to have 95 acceleration or 98 sprint speed for right now. Uh, base card stats for shooting. He actually has shot power a little bit for those heading uh, opportunities, which is obviously decent to have. Uh, when it comes to passing on the card, also in a pretty decent area for a center back. So no big deal there. Uh, the dribbling we'll be experimenting with when it comes to the on the ball and off the ball movements because of the fact that his uh, agility and balance is in a very interesting area, right? So he has 91 agility, but he has a 78 for balance to work with a six foot three height at a high and average plus body type, right? But to be fair, the dribbling stats is in a very, very good area. So hopefully that actually works out really well in game. Uh, defensive stats with the shadow chemistry style will be essentially perfect except for defensive awareness. And then on the anchor, the interceptions is a difference of a plus three or a negative three. Um, the anchor will also be boosting the aggression by a plus five and then the jumping by a plus 10. So when it comes to both of the chemistry styles, right? It's really going to depend on what you notice the most. If you're playing like Super Park the Bus meta tactics, uh, then obviously you're probably going to give him an anchor chemistry style because you don't care too much about being caught out, right? But for me, I like to play a little bit of a manual defense, you know, I actually feel like I'm playing the game. So that's why I like to play uh, with the shadow chemistry style mostly. So in game, guys, we're just going to be using him in the center back position, trying him out while trying to get some gameplay objective cards all of that good stuff so yeah we'll be using him in the 4-1-2-2 and two formation uh playing in that center back position next to nacho fernandez so yeah we'll see how he plays in game hopefully he is a beast oh that was really awkward goalie please registration oh yeah i already knew that was gonna happen because your game's horrible Okay, that's me using him on an anchor, and I can tell you right away, because of that body type and the way that that physical works, like, I gotta give him a shadow for sure. Is it mine? Oh, okay. I'll take that. No! We're back, though. That's what I want to test is those overcommitments. A little bit of extra physical, pass it off. But you can tell that like the pace part, right? He has that physical thing behind it, which obviously if you give him the anchor, it's going to be nice for the extra stuff in certain areas. But I don't know. And the general experience is going to be a little bit weird, you know? So especially if you're coming, coming up against someone super, super fast. I, I, I don't know. We'll see. I got to give him the shadow, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be the case, though. Look on switch. Nice, we'll take that. Mm, nothing crazy there. I didn't actually foul him there. Okay, we'll take that. Well done. Yes, Tiago, good job. That's AI right there. Well done, possession based challenge. Close for an animation there, but I was off a little bit, so. I'll take that. I 
There we go. We use the physical there. I still want the. I don't know why I passed to that guy. I still want the pace boost. Like it's 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 necessary for sure. Yeah, block the general area. Oh, Tiago, nothing there, my boy. Oh. Okay. I'll take a slide challenge there. Well done, Tiago. I don't know what happened there, but we defended it. Go back. Nice. There you go. Significantly better on the shadow. Sheesh. That one he misses well. Got it with the midfielder after. Nice. Ah. Oh my goodness, so much better with a shadow. Wow, well done. And we get that one too. Oh, I, I don't even know why people on Footman even give anchor chemistry cells to defenders, honestly. In this game, like, you're crazy. Nice goal. Ah, oh, almost. Good reach. Manual defense. There we go. Nice. Thank you. Nice. Yeah, Tiago's performing way better with that shadow for sure. Good interception. No, we got it though. Oh, he didn't get the initial ball there. That was weird. Got that one though. Take that. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Tiago De Jailo card. So guys, in regards to how this card performs in game, we were trying him out initially on the anchor chemistry style. And right away, I didn't like it, right? Because in this game, when you don't have pace and you get caught out of possession, you need to have the pace. I think it's very, very important. Uh, when it comes to the jumping, guys, him being a tall player with a high and average plus body type, it compensates well for it. But there are moments where you notice the jumping being sometimes weird because center backs in the game nowadays, when it comes to the shadow chemistry style, you know, when you give it to them, they already have base card stats for all of the physical capabilities in the 90s area. So it compensates really well when you want to give the shadow chemistry style. So... For me, I think the card is way more usable in the shadow. It definitely makes more sense to give him. Uh, with him being a gameplay objective card, because this is usually the case, uh, he doesn't have like a crazy it factor to it. You know, like a Ruben Diaz, a Varane, like those guys, they have like that unique thing to them that just makes them really good defensive players. But for a gameplay objective card that gives you Portuguese links, as well as that main link, which is the Renato Sanchez card, which they may or may not do a new card in the future, who knows? Uh, that's the main things that you have to work with. Jose Font's not really relevant because even at the time period, uh, he's got 82 pace, which is way, way too low. Uh, Nuno Menzer, obviously another very good link to work with if you're working with some uh, Portuguese squads as well, right? So uh, this card exists for the concept of you know, the types of center backs that you can use in this team with the with the uh, Portuguese people, with the League One players. Uh, is he one of the best center backs in League One? I would still rate Marquinhos uh, a little bit more. Kempembe is a beast, you know, especially that shape shifters. If you if you actually rotate that to the center back position, he's still a monster for sure. Uh, but let me see the other options you have here, right? So you have Marquinhos, who's a monster for sure. Voland was an SBC. Oh, it's pretty decent. Nothing like crazy special, but he's a decent card. Come to look 
come to think of it uh, and look at it, there's not a lot of crazy center backs in the League One. Like these cards are more generic nowadays. So as a gameplay objective, it's actually not bad to receive this card, especially for the links you can work with. So yeah, I'm not completely against this. I just think that Kabempe and Marquinhos, they have like that crazy thing to them, you know? They definitely have that nice thing to them. But yeah, this card's really nice. As a gameplay objective card, I like him. I'm, I'm just saying that he's not like uh, like those guys that are like those crazy, crazy guys, right? But I could maybe see some pro players using this if they do some sort of Renato card in the future, maybe. Because that link is uh, a very, very big deal to work with. It's that and the Nuno Menz one if you're making some Portuguese type of squads because I probably have like... I don't know, like, uh, if I could fit, like, a stock you in the same team and stuff, you know, that'd be kind of cool. But, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. If you guys end up using this card in your team, make sure that you give them a Shadow Chemistry Saw. This card on an anchor just was not in, in my opinion. You need to give him the Shadow to compensate for the height uh, and body type that he's working with, okay? So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'm going to catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.